but we're going to. I'm going live now. Hello and welcome to the Doki Doki stream. That's, what was that scar? Or is like, more Doki Doki for your Doki. Doki Doki for your Doki. <laughs> scar is a funny baby. Yeah. I like scar. What is up, Quinn? We are just getting started, so... Hello, Quinn. There is a participant in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she had to pee like a Russian racehorse. Give her time. She'll be here. Well, now we're not, like, going back and forth. Cat! Yeah, we told the everybody to in the bathroom. Okay. Peeing like a Russian racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You made me blink. I made you blink. Oh no. It's so horrible. It is. It's very horrible. Alright, bring your chair Disorienting over. Disorienting is what it is. <laughs> oh, just you wait until Justin shows you something that's going to freak the shit out of you. Justin smushed in. <laughs> What is what is his name? Like walnut on here? Waffle. Oh. Something waffle. <laughs> it was Petal walnut. Waffle. Petal waffle. Yeah. Walnut. <coughs> All right. Well, you guys ready? Oh yes. No, I gotta get Sophie in the house. Damn. And Damn. your 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 ramen is done. Yes. You you want to get it? That makes sound more like a weeaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Prioritized. <laughs> right when I'm like, all right, going streaming, and then everything is like, boom, bam. I'm blind. Today's club meet up. We talked about Animal Farm. Yay, oh, socialism. <gasps> Bradley. Uh, uh. Huh. Did you get your ramen? Yes, it's okay. It's gonna cool off. I'm gonna grab my drink though. Oh my goodness, we are late. Yes, that is that 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 is us. <laughs> what? We're the ones that moan. <laughs> yes, we moan. Just okay. Like this. <laughs> Let's keep it somewhat PG. Damn. <laughs> what you don't like it when I moan? Not for the world to hear. <laughs> they could be they could be underage. <laughs> the moaners. Hey, that's our name now, Cat. The moaners. Is that a, is that our new I punk? It was the Club. Is that our new retro punk rock uh, band name? The moaners. We're the moaners. She tasted. Mo whoa, whoa. What? Taste what? Mm -hmm. What is that? There is. It's aloe juice. I don't want it. <laughs> the way you said it is so disgusting. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> my throat ends up burned, so I don't need it. Hey, James. Hello. <laughs> let's, right. let's go. Let's do this. All right, let's go. So we should do... Yuri first? Yuri. Since that's our, like... Romantic interest in this playthrough? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We made it like the orgasm <laughs> sounds every time it's a dot dot dot. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised <laughs> expression on her face. Do you like it? Amber, this one might be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. Because I stare at your breasticles. <laughs> you did a good job explaining. <laughs> you, did a, 
You're very good at explaining, Lucy. <laughs> yes, while staring at my desk. I really wanted to give. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. <laughs> and then her boobs fade you right after you say that. Well, she's like twiddling her hair. Swallows. Yuri visi visibly swallows. <laughs> It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> What's up, 97? Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, 97 is Arcana. Is this a Persona fan? Because we're going to be doing a Persona stream next month, right? Why are you elbowing for... my boob? <laughs> I didn't mean for that. <laughs> Even oh. her hands appear sweaty. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to this. So squishy. Used to what? <laughs> Amber, your mind is very high in the gutter. It's so squishy. I, I don't know. What's up, Isma? It's fine. Take your time. <sighs> Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. Yep. <laughs> I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. <laughs> very high in the gutter. Yes, but very. No, it's always, son. <laughs> always. <laughs> <laughs> She's not used to her boobs being so big. Apparently, because I mean they've enlarged greatly since he started coming into the school. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just being appreciated like this, I guess. I went and got surgery just for you. Oh yes. <laughs> Make my boobs even more bigger. They enlarge every time I see you. Just like something else. I'm, I'm not reading what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> It probably or that's you. <laughs> It probably sounds really stupid. <clears throat> but seeing someone motivated by my writing it just makes me splooge. <laughs> yes, splooge. <laughs> really, really happy. <laughs> Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Yes, she does. Really? I don't believe it. <laughs> Picks her doesn't <laughs> happen. <laughs> I really only write for myself. There's Sayori! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. clears throat> Hi, Sayori! It's still you. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh? Even your close friends? Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it would be more of a... <laughs> well, they made us do it. Yeah, but it's like a muffled orgasm. Uh -uh. <laughs> we? Every time I've seen an anime, it's always been. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri doesn't respond to that. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. <laughs> if it's with you. Aww. That's so cute. That's <laughs> sweet. <clears throat> Read this raccoon, girl. The raccoon. 
It happened in the dead of the night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as on... Mm. I can't read what that word is. As Where you at? Right there. Ordinary? As an ordinary? You. As what? As an ordinary human. Oh, okay. As an ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon inclements is its face and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Oh, perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. And Chase, you are that raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic whatever that word is. Conditioning. <clears throat> I slice the bread and I feel myself. Problem. I feed myself. Once again. <laughs> Why would provolone be in there? I don't want to. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. Hey, if it's too dark, add some sugar and cream to it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. These nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poems as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. <coughs> yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Uh. <laughs> well... I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. <laughs> I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. The chess just stuck on the boobies. Yeah, on them possibly being fake. <laughs> well, how do you know it's not, you know, hmm, water balloons rather well, than... that would be fake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know they were not water balloons? But it's still fake. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> they could be water balloons, and the second that he touches it, boosh, and then say, Ah, oh, go for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. <laughs> Inflatable boobs. She's a trap. <laughs> All along. Hey, oh my gosh. It's Scarfinger. Scar! Yes! <laughs> <clears throat> and he has no words to say about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I should have probably linked people in my Discord Oh, whatever. Group. We got people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be, be, because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me 
<laughs> no other words than what the fuck. <laughs> what if Monica is a trap? What if Sayori is a trap? I'm not a trap, but I am the best! Yeah! Don't you have anything like that, Amber? Amber? Oh! Well... <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. When she would know. <laughs> Writing, listening. There really aren't many people like you, Amber. I know. The that's an ex yeah. that's exaggerating it a little bit. <laughs> that is probably scarfing. <laughs> that is probably scarfing on the hangouts. <laughs> it's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. <laughs> but now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really, really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's, it's nothing really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. <coughs> she didn't like Monica. Monica? Monica? I think we should do Sayori. <laughs> This one, Amber. It has some f nice feelings in it. Uh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Uh, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go and go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Oh, other stuff you already know me, said. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feel feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Y yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? You want to write something for me? That's so sweet! Yeah, right. <laughs> but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. Well, <laughs> if you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep that in mind. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. 
Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What if that makes Sayuri a robot? I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet! Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and... St oh, that's you. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well... I like happy the most. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we are still stuck on boobs, aren't we? <laughs> Man, it's the tits that'll take up the whole thing. Yuri's in the chat and she just says, wow. <laughs> Yuri, you just missed yourself. <laughs> That's kind of a weird thing to say. <laughs> But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head. Oh my god. <laughs> a sad poem can help give the rainbow a little hug. Rain cloud. Oh, rain cloud, yeah. <laughs> Shush. Rain cloud. Rain cloud. <laughs> such a rain cloud. And make a nice happy rainbow. So, Sayuri, that's unexpectedly poetic. Uh, it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. <laughs> <You're right>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Oh, God. Did you write that down? <laughs> I just read what he just said. I should go write that down then. Natsuki. You can read my poems now, okay? <coughs> I read it all. Yeah. Okay. Battles. I pop off my scalp like the little bottles. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a funnel of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottles, all in a row. My collection makes lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. God. <laughs> like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like the time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. There was supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 
echo inside my head. That was fucking dark as shit. That <laughs> Holy crap. Was fucking dark. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. <laughs> Oh, wow. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. Yay! <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yay! <clears throat> I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. <laughs> creepy? Well not, <coughs> well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm used to you being so cheerful. Well, I don't like you either. <laughs> James the Potato Guy doesn't like me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> don't buy in the red next. Background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking too hard about it. <clears throat> the point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings. A little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I <laughs> stop. <laughs> I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing is the best. <coughs> Ow. I'm going to keep writing until I die. Ooh. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself there. <laughs> Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, all right. <coughs> well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's wow, trying too so hard nice. to be serious. All right, Sayuri. Uh, what what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. <laughs> don't tell me! Uh? <laughs> I thought that was you. No. You're not. You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? Oh. What are you talking about? And keep your voice down. <laughs> you know Yuri would love this kind of... This... Angst, angsty... There you go. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I, I... I mean... You... You... Looks like I'm in trouble. <laughs> you don't say. I somehow stuck a nerve. 
though... Did you just say, I somehow suck a nerve? I somehow struck a nerve, <laughs> though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Yasugi shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Monica. Hi again, Amber. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. <laughs> Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst orgasm noise ever. <laughs> All right. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature. It's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> More dookie dookie for your little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on? Let me reread that there. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean in a bad way. Yuri's laughing. <laughs> no, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Eh? Nah, I read yours. Yeah, you, have to uh, <laughs> you completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a husbando. <laughs> Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless... 
I don't know what my name is. Kakafemi? Is it Kakafemi? Okay. Sir, Kaka. Kakafi. A meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating. Waveforms, wave squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, cruising tangent. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. And I think she might be that one. Load me. Load. Load me! <laughs> Sayori gives one out of ten. <laughs> Load me. Uh oh. Oh shit. It's this... even more abstract than your last one, huh? This, this bitch is robotic, man. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. You can load me. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? I'm told to go into the files. But where do we find him? I what think we want help. Yeah. So look at the screen. Always keep the files open, okay? Well, the files are always open. <coughs> I just don't have them on the stream all the time. God. Okay, now they said copy them. Now what? I guess. Is that all we do? Let me um save real quick, just in case the game crashes or something. Did you read that part? Yeah, I did. No, I never said that. It's just kind of it's just kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Yeah, so you might want to... Constantly change the game files to see if anything has changed. <coughs> we can just play organically, though. Okay. Organically. Yeah. Organically. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Sometimes asking. That's me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reading <laughs> my lines. Yeah, I see it. Start to mean. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna live that down, James. Yeah. 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 I reminded him of that in the car earlier. Puff, puff, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a 
conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. You never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. Save game. Yeah. Now we save need, that shit, breath. Now we need to save very often. <laughs> Wait, is this tip even about writing? <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, don't we really have, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's okay, 97. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Well, just in, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Uh, um, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Yeah, let's call him Arcana. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring the poster, holds it up for everyone to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Should I talk like this when I do Monica? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's up, Rose Random? <laughs> <laughs> eh. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks robotic right there. Uh, <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. 
There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I can never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. Oh! I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. Hi to the Philippines! What up? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> It sounded like a, a ther it sounded like a theremin, like <laughs> Oh my god. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. Uh, but Oh, I still I think... think we should give it our best. Well, I'm pretty sure one is going to come up soon. Eventually. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance... Then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Thank you, Rose. Oh, oh yeah. See, requested we should make Monica then sound like a robot every time she says, well, you what, know, the dot, dot, dot. What would it be like? Mmm. Feels good. Mmm. What, what was that? <laughs> what, for the orgasm uh, thing? That, that brass and brother thing. I am a robot. I have never felt love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you're a robot, like, it's okay that I had AIDS or whatnot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 That's oh a god. really old, really old YouTube thing. <clears throat> Robo <laughs> Oh. Yeah! Ah. It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay, no. let's go to the next Finding new horizons. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I just uh, heard finding, it. Finding new horizons. I, I didn't hear it. <laughs> and having... And having fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> So you really couldn't even type stop. It was so unnerving. <laughs> did you did you read that's right? Well, that's it. right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. <laughs> no saving the stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> We are not to be saved. We are to save with the power of our Don't you want to share that with others? <laughs> to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. Eh, eh. <laughs> and... If all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, <laughs> then I know you can do it. Uh. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri <laughs> remain silent. Sayuri looks worried. 
I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... <laughs> it looks like Sayuri doesn't have any arguments left. You... you... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew! Thanks, Matsuki. What about you, Yuri? Uh... Yuri dejected glances. Dejectedly. Yuri de dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Pornhub intensifies. <laughs> yeah. Sayori, you know Pornhub. <sighs> you naughty, naughty girl. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just I. I. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri! <laughs> this club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move into the main event. Do you want to Well, with YouTube's new, like, monetization thing, I have, you know, a thousand subscribers. All right, get a thousand people to subscribe to me, and then I can be demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way, Monica. This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. The Way They Fly. <laughs> 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 Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her infectious... Infl <laughs> <laughs> infectious? She must have... What does she have? More than that, her inflection is pristine. Okay. She knows exactly how to apply emotion by an each line she recites, beginning bringing the words <laughs> to life. Is this something she's done before, or she's simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone oh, well, thank you, Rose. has their eyes on Monica. Thank you, Rose. Woo! Subs everywhere. <laughs> Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. It's a death That stare. confuses me. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Monica finishes the re recitation. The four of us applaud. Oh, good job. Thank you. Monica takes a breath and smiles. 
Yuri that... is getting intense over here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Ooh, ah! Ooh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri's pissed. That's what Yuri is. Yeah. She's gonna Thank be you, reading Sayori. This freaking poem with like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Monica. Well, did I just skip something? I think you did. Alright, where am I? Yuri, Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glasses at each of us. <laughs> you can do it, Yuri! It is called... It, it's called... After image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do it. Why is this suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables. A fierce and confident a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns. It's structured that she Enunciate. enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps in, concealed inside her head. Suddenly she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality, reality and glances around her as if she's be, bewildered, bewildered even herself. I... Really, that's interesting. It's up to me to save the situation. So the piano and the music means Monica's watching? Huh. I didn't know that. I can't even hear the music right now. I can. Yeah, it's coming from the headphones. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Rawr. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Uh -huh. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayuri so hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks over to the podium. This one's called My Meadows. It's not plural, but still. Meadow. <laughs> mm. Ah! Oh, that's you. <laughs> oh! I, I sound like wow, a man Wow, Sayuri, you sound so manly. Oh, yeah. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, I giggled. <laughs> oh my god. Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Huh. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, 
So it'll come out the best, come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. <laughs> Sayuri begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The poem isn't aimlessly cheer cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. <laughs> I can't help myself. If if I were to read this on paper, I would probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finished, finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Amber likes it! <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poem wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> The next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. She swears that she heard a moan. She could have. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> oh, we can do moans. Like, right now. No, that's okay. Let's keep reading. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, Are we need really to look. Sure? She, look, Monica's saying stuff that we need to hear. <clears throat> and everybody needs to hear. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. <laughs> okay! Now, who's next? Natsuki. <sighs> don't make me go before Amber. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Amber lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. That's okay. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go what I wrote with what I wrote for today. <laughs> mm. I stand up in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. And say, Sayuri, I love my moans too. Thank you for, thank myself for loving my moans. My moans. My, my moans. moans. My, uh, oh, my moans. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. We should totally do it in three, two, one. Like, do it. What, most? Yeah. You, they can hear you. I know. Down and so your... what? So? One. <laughs> Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about. <laughs> it's Monica. Well, I got on a roll after <laughs> all your moaning shit. Amber, you're just distracting him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I 
I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That's, that just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begr begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <sighs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, unenthused her poem has a rhyme and a, a, a rhythm, rhythm and a rhyme. rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. Oh, that's a nice face. <laughs> I like that face. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean... Doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. through. <laughs> it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. Hmm. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. I know, I'm tired as well. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Yeah. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? 
<laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such of a big deal out of it. That must be a little nice, though. <coughs> well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Amber. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today Sayuri is being a little quieter than normal, than usual on the way home. Hey Sayuri. Huh? Sorry, I'm just spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um... I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So let's... Let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? I would say something, but it's... <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it would agree with... You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, this is one of those times where you have to be careful with you. <laughs> I would be walking home with y Yuri, huh? How does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is to socialize, I would feel awkward turning her down, so... Given how Isn't hard it is? Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it! Look, Sayori, get a sad face. Sayori, why are you sad? Because I picked Yuri. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she seems so happy at this very second, but she's going to get really sad, I'm sure. <coughs> Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. No. Bye. Bye, Bradley. Thanks well, for watching. You have this well, one. maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know. Need you? Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Yes, that's how we were playing this playthrough, is going with Yuri. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me in such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. See, we did it for you, Sayori. We can't lie to you. That'd be bad. <laughs> but if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take it away from her. <laughs> Trap? That's how. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival, the festival is only a few days away. Oh. Don't mind the rednecks in the background. Who knows what will happen in that time? <laughs> I'm restrained. Melancholy. Determination. Controllable. Frightening. Frightening. 
there. Imagination. Probably not. Well, yeah. I guess I can try fear. But I've never seen it, so okay. Massacre. Contamination. Incongruent. Uh. Less than climax, maybe? <laughs> Unending philosophy. Or intellectual. Tenacious. You're gonna need to go vivacious. Crimson. Unstable. Or entropy. Mm, yeah, that works. Essence? Or depression? Nope. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. But annihilation! <laughs> <laughs> it's, but I guess passion. <laughs> but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh -huh. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. And yes, she was all. Oh, uh, she's maybe. acting very weird. Normally, she's grumpy. Yeah. Eh. Were you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? <laughs> Chain picked depression for the last word, and it was second word. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Chase. What? You didn't even read your thing. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Get with the program, dude. That's you. <laughs> Ooh, dude. Monica, squid. do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people. I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> because. It's right in your name. Monica. Eh? Looks so confused. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. 
Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> I think everybody likes the whole redneck thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, when they vroom vroom by here loud. Freaking rednecks. Did you read the laughing? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Where is Sayori anyway? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there you are. Sayori is at her desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh? You're spacing out again. Uh, um... <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. If you say so. I wordly glance at Sayori before turning back to everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they're, they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Amber, what's up? Hey, this might sound a bit strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? <laughs> Fast and Furious literally club. <laughs> anything up with her? I've already said that. Okay. In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Oh, bye Rose. <laughs> Bye, Rose. Bye. Did you read that part? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised. I'm not the only. I'm not the one. Well, let me reread that there. But I'm surprised. I'm not the one asking you, Amber. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem, 
I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Amber. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know. Yeah? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayuri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Amber. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. You need, you need sleep, man. Good night, Mr. James, the weird potato guy. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know, anyway? I don't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice quiet, so that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayuri told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her books. She looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone to start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now it's easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I sneak into the orgasm voice. Orgasm thing. Uh, <laughs> I 
didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But... I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Hmm. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, Sayuri, why did you change your name? <laughs> That's not Sayuri. That is the same picture. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not? It's a different one. No. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I feel bad. Move, Patrick. I can't Excel. see too well. It's, Even with my glasses now, that's lovely. It's, some... <laughs> it's something that I do a lot. So, it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. <laughs> In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Same. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Huh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not like that. I just... I, I, I didn't want to, you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Oh, uh, I see. Good night! Good night, Sayori! Yeah, it's tomorrow night, so... Well, hold on. Let's see. The, um, you know, things tomorrow night, and then next month's also an extra life thing for Persona 4. And after we're done with Doki Doki, I was thinking about starting this game too. So, everybody's leaving. Yeah. Should we just like end the stream for a minute? Well, we could. I mean, let's see. We still have. Yeah, we can fin we, let's finish out this conversation at least. Okay. Do you say that? Oh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be. To <laughs> <laughs> then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismiss dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it too much. Oh, bye, Sayori. We'll bye, you. Sayori. We'll see you tomorrow. Amber, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you, know, you may know them. Huh. So you think that there might be something behind it all, after all? Hmm. I think that Sari is a very complex person. Good night, Yuri. Good night, Yuri. Her um, mannerisms on the outside don't always match what they may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. Aw, he doesn't want us to go. <laughs> but in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, 
I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put... But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Uh. <laughs> Yuri suddenly deeply <laughs> suddenly looks deeply into my <laughs> eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Mm. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Sometimes a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, May uncover feelings you weren't aware were in me. Th that, that, that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, uh, th that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off of this whole thing anyway. <laughs> okay, everyone. After them. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, Everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she spot and she smiles. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayuri. <laughs> we always end on a poem reading. Sorry, Quinn, but we love you, but we're tired. Yeah. Yes. And you're like the only one here. No, no, no offense, <laughs> but we're all tired, and it's pretty much 20 minutes until the thing. Yeah, and uh, and yeah. we really wanted to start the next one off on a on a poem read. So, see you later, dude. Thanks we for love watching. Bye. Oh my god, that sounded like a weird bye. It <laughs> did. And we also have, you know, scar castle. You know, we do that. I know, but that's why we don't want to do it tonight. So we can actually have something to We're do tomorrow. We're doing it tomorrow at 9 o'clock, same time. There's be a, there there's or be a, square. There's an event already set up for it and everything. So it's you not... can hit the little bell and all that stuff. So just do that. <laughs> and it's 9 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you're like in Hawaii, then, you know, <laughs> be like a little bit different. Love you, Queen. <laughs> Bye. Da, 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 da.